Welcome to the KA SAT two way installation video. First, verify that the contents of your two way kit are complete. Please find the list on the instructions page. The transceiver or TRIA. The modem with Ethernet cable. Verify you have all the necessary tools for the installation. You can now start to assemble the antenna. Take the disc with A pointing upwards. Insert a coach bolt through the disc and secure the elevation azimuth head with a washer, split washer and nut. Now, secure the plate and head with four coach bolts and washers and nuts as shown. Spin the head so that the notch is at 90 degrees, then tighten all four nuts. Take the identical mask clamps and position as shown. Use flange nuts for the mask clamps. The next stage is to secure the antenna to the elevation azimuth head with five coach bolts and five flange nuts. Tighten all five nuts and be very careful not to deform the dish in any way. Now, construct the two arms by first securing the TRIA support plate with four long coach bolt washers and split washers with normal nuts. Make sure that the threaded holes at the other end of the arms are in the correct position for the threaded holes on the elevation and azimuth head. The yellow warning sign gives a good indication on one arm. Here are some examples of available masts. Please choose as strong a mast as possible, for example, with a 60mm diameter tube. The mast should be secured with at least 4 M8 raw bolts or 4 M8 bolts with plastic sleeves, depending on the type of wall. Weight loading for non-penetrating mounts should be according to local conditions. The antenna weighs over 14 kilos when complete, so we recommend installing it in two parts. First, mount the dish on the mast, then secure in place with the mast clamps. Now, slot the two arms into place as shown. Fix the arm securely in place with four short bolts and washers. To secure the earth cable supplied, Bolt one end of the azimuth and elevation head with a serrated washer scoring the paint. This scoring allows a connection to the metal and therefore a good bond. To allow two-way to communicate with the satellite, you must have two parameters to point the antenna and the spot color to program the modem.
The azimuth angle is in reference to north and corresponds to movement right and left of the antenna. The elevation angle is in reference to the ground and corresponds to up and down movements. To identify the azimuth, elevation and spot color that corresponds to your location, you must go to finder.twayinstall.com. On this website, you are able to identify your location via three methods. First, using a map. The website then calculates the elevation and azimuth angles and your spot color. This color configures the circular polarization and the modem. You can also use GPS coordinates to calculate the angles and spot color configuration. Finally, you can also use the installation address as well. This application works for all smartphones and is also available as an iPhone app on the Apple Store. There's an offline version as well. Now you have all your parameters for your line of sight, you can start choosing your installation position. With your compass, identify the azimuth angle the antenna must face. You must have a clear line of sight to the satellite position with no obstacles such as buildings or trees. A person should be prevented from getting within a distance equal to the diameter of the antenna. You should also have approximately a 10 degree margin between your line of sight angle and any obstructions. The final criteria for choosing a good installation position is the maximum cable distance between the modem and antenna. The maximum distance is 50 meters, but can be longer depending on the type of cable. When cabling the antenna, leave a service loop of about 70 centimeters to enable the replacement of connectors. At the point of entry to the building, put in a drip loop. When drilling the hole in the exterior wall, drill down at a slight angle to prevent water penetration. For exterior connectors, always use compression connectors if possible. Strip away the inner and outer insulation to expose the center pin and dielectric. Make sure there's no connection between the shield and the center pin. Push on the compression connector so that the dielectric is flush with the bezel part of the connector. Cut the center pin about 3 mm above the connector. Ensure there's no earthing tress touching the center pin. Normally, the installation would be on a wall, but to facilitate the filming, we've installed the system on the ground. We will now locate the satellite with the first pointing procedure. Install the KU pointing tool with easy-to-use Velcro, then connect to the analyzer. Now enter the correct frequency and voltage to select a suitable carrier on 9 degrees east. In this case, we've chosen the Akiva carrier on vertical high. Ensure that both vertical locking nuts are loose and adjust the elevation to the value indicated by the KA SatFinder application which in this case is 32 degrees. 
Then, using your compass, find the azimuth angle and loosen the mask clamps. Adjust your antenna until you've maximized the 9 degrees east KU signal on your analyzer, then lock off the mask clamps. Now take off the KU pointing tool and mount the tria in position with four screws and split washers. Connect the earth cable to the tria as shown. Connect the coaxial cable to the TX port of the tria and tighten with a spanner to ensure waterproofing. Connect the modem TX port with the TRIA TX port. Power up the modem by plugging in the power lead. After modem boot up is finished, plug in the Ethernet cable, then connect your PC to the modem. For Windows 7, click on Start, click on Control Panel, click on View Network Status, click on Change Adapter Settings, right click on Local Area Connection, click on Properties, Click on IPv6 to deflag it. Click on IPv4, then click on Properties. Check Obtain IP Address Automatically is highlighted. Click OK, then Close. You now need to configure Internet Explorer. Open the browser. Click on Tools. Click on Internet Options. Click on Connections. Check Never Dial a Connection is selected and press OK. Close Internet Explorer. You are now ready to program the modem. Type in the address 192.168.1. 100.1 in the URL window, then press Enter. You are now in the modem user interface on the home page. You can enter the modem page with details of the modem and the TRIA page with details of the TRIA. To configure the modem for installation, enter the address and install. You now highlight the spot color indicated by the KA SAT finder and press on the arrow on the right hand side. You now enter a new screen for antenna pointing. You can now start the second method of finding the satellite with an inclinometer and the beeper. Verify that the two elevation locking nuts are loose. Ensure with an inclinometer that the antenna is exactly at the elevation indicated by the KA SAT finder, which in this case is at 32 degrees. You now hear a heartbeat tone. Swing the antenna slowly from right to left until you hear an ambulance tone, which indicates carrier found. You'll then hear the lock tone. At this point, lock off the mask clamps, ensuring that you hear the lock tone at all times. 
The fine pointing of the antenna is the same procedure whether you found the satellite with either the KU pointing tool or the beeper and inclinometer. The first stage is the azimuth fine adjust. You verify that the two azimuth locking nuts are loose. You must pass the maximum signal level in both directions to allow the modem to measure the maximum signal to noise ratio. You now turn the fine pointing azimuth mechanism in one direction until you hear the tone drop. At this point you reverse the direction and pass the maximum signal level until you hear the tone drop a second time. Now you reverse the direction and turn until you hear the continuous tone. Now lock off the two azimuth locking nuts. Now you adjust the elevation fine adjust. First, you verify that the two locking nuts are loose. The procedure is the same as with the azimuth adjustment. You first adjust one way, passing the maximum, until you hear the tone drop. Now reverse the direction. When the tone drops again, you come back until you hear a continuous tone. Lock off the elevation locking nuts. To test if the antenna is correctly pointed, you should now perform the pointing test. Carefully, without deforming the antenna, pull and push on the left, right and top outer edges. When you release the antenna, it should go back to the continuous tone. Once the pointing test is finished, you'll see a third box with a tick. Once you have a tick, you click on the arrow on the right-hand side. The first stage is receive synchronization with the network. The modem then ranges and synchronizes its transmission and enters the network. It then receives DHCP and network information. Finally, when the LAN LED is blinking, it's on the last stage of synchronization. When all four LEDs are on, the modem is online. It is ready for activation with the activation code. Whatever internet page you enter, you should now go to the activation page. Click Enter. Enter your population and activation codes. You may be asked for your nearest town and country of installation. If you're not asked, Please record the RF parameters for the installation report. Modem activation should be finished after reboot. The antenna will receive a large number of KU band television satellites. There are a number of multi-feed supports available. You need an analyzer for this as the pointing and polarization needs to be precise. 5 degrees west position for Fransat, TNT via satellite for France. 13 degrees east or hotbird position for Western Europe. Twenty-eight degrees east position for Freesat and Sky available in the UK. There's also a universal support that can be used for a number of satellite positions at the same time as shown for the twenty-eight degrees east position. For anyone wishing to be a certified two-way installer, the two-way campus offers a three-part online course. The final online test is a realistic 3D antenna pointing simulator. The KA Sat Finder is an essential online tool to determine both your line of sight angle and modem configuration. 
It is available for all computers and mobile phones with an offline version as well. The two-way extranet offers certified installers multimedia support, documentation and a discussion forum.